Picture this, you are at a roadshow, trade show or some sort of a business event where you want to survey the participants. Whether you are after their details for product and registration or their feedback on the session itself, you've got a Microsoft form to handle the survey side. But what about the reporting end? How do you pick up those form responses automatically, format them for reporting purposes and use them in Power BI? Well, lucky for me, I occasionally get tasked with projects like this, you know, stuff outside of the usual sales and operational reporting. It's an opportunity to explore new possibilities within the Microsoft product portfolio, and I had some fun with this one. And finally, after a few months of tinkering, I'm ready to share my experience. Well, let's get started with the intro. Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm here to help you to learn more about Power BI. If this is your first time around here, then please start by clicking on the like and subscribe buttons so you wouldn't miss my Power BI videos. It means a lot to me and helps others to find content like this. Let me kick things off with a brief project description. Throughout Australia and New Zealand, our technical experts and sales team members were touring the countries and they promoted a new product that just hit the market. Their goal was to provide a hands-on technical demo about the product and help customers to sign up for an e-newsletter dedicated to this newly introduced product portfolio. Now, after each session, in every location, they wanted to gather customers' first impression and convince them to sign up for a newsletter to learn more about these items. Setting up forms is not really part of an analyst role, however, this time they reached out to me before anything was created, just to ensure that the reporting side of things goes smoothly. I must admit, it felt pretty darn good to be involved right from the start. Today's tools of trade are Forms, Power Automate and SharePoint. We will be using Forms to create a survey that will blow the customer's mind. No, not really, it's going to be a plain form. Then we will unleash the power of Power Automate to transform those survey responses into individual CSV files and save them securely on a SharePoint site. And if that wasn't exciting enough, we will also rely on Power Automate to auto-refresh our data flow. Let's dive into the nitty gritty and see what we can achieve with this combo of tools. I have a form ready to go. It's just a couple of questions that we are going to use in this demo. And since adding data validation to forms is not that easy, I made the date and location fields mandatory for all participants. I think it's a perfect way of making sure that these fields will be populated with the right data. Next up, we get a single question to evaluate the session. I'm sure it was a success, but it never hurts to ask, right? And finally, a free text, comments or feedback box. Let's give a customer a chance to share their thoughts and feelings. You can have as many questions as you like, just make sure that the response you get out of form is in line with your expectations. Let me show you what I mean. If I fill in this form quickly and then head over to the Responses tab and open the Excel file for responses, you'll see the format I got for each question. The more complex the question type, the more complex the response will be. That means you might have to do some footwork in Power Query to get things just right. Luckily for me, the project was more about gathering information to feed into a marketing tool and to see how our technical team performed. So I didn't need to worry about anything too crazy. I'll let you explore form creation and customization on your own as we have heaps more to cover today. Let's head over to Power Automate now. Why Power Automate? I'm glad you asked. The main reason for using Power Automate is the fact that retrieving responses from forms can be a bit tricky. Manually clicking on the Open in Excel button every time a new response comes in and then adding records to our report isn't the most efficient method. With Power Automate, we can automate this process and improve our workflow. On the left hand side, click on the plus icon to create a new flow. Select the Automated Cloud Flow option as we want this automation to run when a new form response is submitted. Let's name it Roadshow Response Flow. Under Triggers, search for Forms and select the one A New Response is Submitted option. First of all, select the form that we just created. Now that we have our trigger, we need an action as well. Under New Step, search for Forms again and the only action available is the one that we need get response details. Once again, select the form ID 
and when it comes to the response ID, you don't really have to think about anything because we can just simply use the dynamic content in Power Automate. The next step is to create a CSV table based on the responses. And look, luckily Power Automate has a data operation to do just that. I mean, how good is that? All of this automation is done only using the GUI without writing a single line of code. Let's add the body of the form response and then expand advanced options. While we could use the automatic column naming rule, I strongly recommend creating your own custom mapping. It's always easier to start with clean data rather than having to fix it in Power Query. And this way we can be 100% sure that headers will remain consistent across all files. Something like this. Once that mapping is done, there's just one more thing to do. Exporting that CSV table into our SharePoint sites document section. This time we need to search for create file and select the one under SharePoint. Fill in the site address, then select the right folder. After that, add a file name. I would suggest using the response ID as part of the file name to guarantee uniqueness. For example, you could use the response ID, an underscore and the location name. All of this can be done using dynamic content. Oh, and don't forget to add .csv to the end to ensure that the file type is also selected. Lastly, the file content should be the output of the previous operation. As I mentioned before, when it comes to automating processes, there's a good chance that a Power Automate template already exists that can be used or customized instead of trying to reinvent the wheel. While I walk you through the steps to create the automation from scratch, it's worth noting that there are some shared templates available if the goal is to push details automatically without making any adjustments or personalization. However, in this case, the business wanted to keep or save every response separately. This was due to the end goal, but I also like the idea of keeping all the details, including every survey responses, on a dedicated SharePoint site. The data was also ingested into a separate marketing tool, which is why we split the response details into two buckets one for reporting on the quality of the trade show and the other one for marketing purposes. But I digress. Before we add a few more steps, let's test what we have so far to ensure that the files are created in line with our expectations. Click the save button in the flow, then click test at the top right corner. Select manual as we are about to submit a response from forms. Now let's head back to forms and respond to the survey. If we go back to Power Automate, we should see four green ticks indicating that the flow ran without any issues. Excellent! Shall we also check the documents folder in the SharePoint site? Why not? There we have it, the first file that we will be able to use for reporting in Power BI. Next up is setting up the data flow to connect to the SharePoint folder and adding a calendar table. As this part is relatively simple, I will speed up the video as we go through it. With the files from SharePoint imported into Dataflow and the dynamic calendar table in place, we can move on to creating a Power BI report. For this demonstration, I will keep the reporting simple and focus on the setup process rather than applying data visualization to the survey results. When we are done with these steps, let's go back to our flow. I recommend including a set of steps for flows that we consider end-to-end -end automation. This includes auto-refreshing the data flow and the data set and sending a confirmation to the relevant departments or individuals that the data is updated and the report is ready to go. Let's add these steps to our flow. After a SharePoint file creation step, we will refresh the data flow using the Power Query connector. Then, we'll set up a trigger based on the data flow refresh status. We will add the condition to split communication into two ways. If the refresh succeeded, we will refresh the Power BI dataset and send a message in Teams indicating that the new survey response has been received. If the refresh wasn't successful, we will flag it to the team and myself indicating that some sort of a manual intervention is needed. Ah. 
I love how Power Automate makes it easy to create complex workflows without the need to worry about the underlying code. It enables business users to automate their everyday tasks and processes and focus on higher value activities. Let's save our flow again, and before we put it into production, it's important to test it once more. With these additional steps, we hope to have improved the flow without introducing any errors into the automated process. How good is that? Let's take a moment to recap what we have accomplished today. We ventured beyond our typical analyst responsibilities to create a fully automated process for survey responses using Microsoft Forms. Leveraging the power of Power Automate's no-code, low-code capabilities, we transformed the responses into CSV files and automatically imported them into a Power BI data flow. We also implemented steps to ensure automatic dataset and report refresh, along with communication to the relevant stakeholders. Overall, we have successfully created a robust flow that looks like this. The beauty of the Microsoft Technology Stack is that it's designed to be accessible to everyone, regardless of their technical background and expertise. With the no-code, low-code capabilities of Power Automate and Power BI, anyone can create powerful automations and visualizations that help streamline business processes and provide valuable insights. If you have any questions about this project or the setup, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer your questions or provide guidance on setting up a similar project. As you stay till the end, I'm sure you like this video, so please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons and make sure to watch more of my tutorials like these ones above me. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.